when building your auto trading robot you are going to use methods these methods will be made by the mt5 team meter trader team they will come with the program or you can make your uh, the ones for yourself so for example of the method do you remember the alert thing this alert this is a method okay and how do you see the method the method is something with the name the name will have a color or something uh, like this one this is a method you can see the colors there and then uh, there will be a uh, open brackets and close brackets okay so whatever that you put in the method will be executed by the program as you can see this method is alert whatever that i put inside these brackets will be executed by this program by this robot okay so that is a method you can we have um, the command method this one is a method whatever that i write here will be executed by the the robot okay so now I'm showing you how to create your own method because if you can know how to create your own method, you'll easily understand how these things work. Okay, so I will I will come here. You can see it's a blank space. I'm going to create our method. Our method is going to calculate two numbers only. Okay, while practicing you can do a lot of things because practicing is important. But here I'm only going to show you a method to execute two numbers. Okay, so what happens when you are you are doing a, a a method first thing you must say what do you want your method to say actually method is something like a variable you remember when we did variable on our second video method is the same thing as that you are storing the information inside that method so that you can be able to use that method often every time when you use that method the robot will will remember what you want to do even when you are you are no longer saying the exact exact thing for example let's go back to the variable i said you can say int you can just say int and say your int you will name it 10 then where after this is equals to you are putting whatever that you want to put on the name 10 so i can just put a lot of numbers and then leave it there every time when i type 10 the program will remember that I'm talking about this number. Every time when I, I talk about this, the program will remember that, oh, he's talking about this. So I can just come here to alert and say 10 plus 1. This program knows that every time when I type this, this program knows that I, I'm, I'm talking about this. So that you don't always type these zeros all the time. You just uh, type once and then the program will understand. And this helps you even if I want to use this 10 more often. Let's say I'm using this, this thing more often. I can use it a lot everywhere. Copy, paste, copy, paste. If I want to change this, I won't, I won't be coming here. I'll just do one thing i can just say this and then automatically all these tens are like this 10 okay so whatever that i put here automatically automatically change this exactly at the same time it's a live update okay unlike when you come here and type this 10 100 100 and then if you want to change you will have to come here again and then change one by one but if you start this thing as 10 like this it's good okay it will make your job easy so back to the topic methods okay so method are the same thing as you can see when you say alert this is a method there are a lot of programs codes behind this method which are written we won't see them they they come with uh, this editor okay so let's go and do our own method let's create our own method our own method will calculate two numbers only two numbers so i will just say um, our method is okay yeah our method will calculate two numbers so first thing with the method just like a variable 
you must say what do you want your method to, to return. You want your method to return a number or you want your method to return a string uh, to help the program quickly compile your things without struggling. Okay. So I will do this. I want my my method is about numbers. Okay. So I'll just say int. This tells the program that whatever that I'll write here will bring back int. Okay. Will return int. And then you'll see I'll use the name return inside this program. So my method will be add add hundred. Yeah, I'll just say add hundred. This is the name of my method. So this method will add anything that you put inside with hundred. Okay. So I'll come here and then I, I want you to put the integer only here. So I'll say int and say number you can see this is a variable this thing is a variable just like this but different is that now we have this as a method and then at the same time this variable is inside the brackets okay so let's let's continue and see so since this thing as i said it will return integer so i can just come here and say uh, number plus 100 then here before I was supposed to write type return so this method I'm done with this method just like this this every time when I bring up this method whatever that I will put inside here will be added with 10 just like that okay so what you can do you can copy exit these codes exactly and then practice with them so that you can understand you can change this and put double string we did string you can change this to string so i'll show you so now i've created this method we can just forget about it i've created it it's saved inside the program so when i come here and say alert i'm using alert so that we can see the outcomes of this thing so when i come here and say alert instead of typing numbers i can just bring that method or now i can use that method how do i use that method i will use that method by simply saying add 100 inside the, the this thing and then I'll, I'll bring these things here the brackets and then here i can just put any number i can just say 700 okay 700 we said it will add with 100 every time so Add 100, 700 inside this bracket. So I'll compile. No errors, no nothing here. So let's open our charts and see what happens. Remember now our robot is method. It's a return method here. Let me drop this on top of the chart. You will see 800. Why? This method, add 100, will add anything that you put inside these brackets with 100. Just like that. Anything that you put inside these brackets will be added by 100. That's how the method work. We have the codes here which are executing everything at once. Then every time when we want to add any number by 100, we can just call this method and put any number in these brackets. This is how uh, programming is simplified. And this is how this alert method was made. There are codes behind this alert method which they have programmed we won't be able to see them but if you can search well you'll see them but then we don't care about those codes we just want to use the alert now the same way you can create your own method especially when when we're dealing with forex you are going to be creating methods to calculate the pips automatically to calculate the stop loss take profit automatically where you're going to do this most of the time so that every time you can just take put this as take profit and then put price minus take profit and then every time when you open a trade you just execute this method okay let's open the chart and see what happens now okay my charts are open let me take uh, yeah it's method our current robot is this one let me paste it and then let me allow let me say okay uh, it's doing this 
okay mt5 and mt4 works on click uh, on tick okay so as you can see now i'm always putting this thing so that everything can be okay so since this thing works on every tick as you can see our this is a class on on tick meaning this thing only execute when every tick happens so when my data is off i won't be able to see the result since there are no clicks you can see now the clicks are back the market is clicking and then now is showing us every time when the market clicks this class ra is running this class is running as you can see it's on tick every time when the the robot receives a tick from the market it runs so we can see our method is here uh, our method is here we we placed 700 now we have 800 if i can put 900 compile run the robot uh, it will bring us uh, 1000 you see now it's 1000 we have our method so you can put a lot of things in this method we can put a lot of things here this remember is just for teaching you and when you are comfortable you can do a lot and then we will be doing it we'll be using methods remember we are going to build our automatic trading robot on this channel on this series from the scratch we're going to do all this as for example we'll be using indicators and we can also use the candlesticks uh, we're going to build it now i'm just teaching you the basics because i want to make sure that even if when you have zero programming language you can actually get these things up okay so today i showed you method simple thing this thing shows you what do you want this method to work on you can just you can use string here if you want to use the sentence even here you can do string or you can add other things but don't remember to say return and then if you don't want to return anything i'll show you something if i can remove this return we may have problem with the compiler you can see the errors here because you can't do this you can't say actually once you put this integer you're saying this will return the integer so you have to also specify here that indeed you want to return but then there's another thing if you don't want to return anything you can just 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 type void void says nothing i'm retaining nothing let's compile and see you can see we're having a problem here because now i said void but i'm retaining something so the only way of to 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 do void is to say is to avoid using return okay you can see here they're even saying uh, the void is illegal so we'll just stick to that one of retaining integer and then practice with this you can put string it's fine no problem and just type whatever that uh, you want to say to your girlfriend or something here so that you don't forget right yeah if you don't want to forget thing you must do some personal things or whoever yeah i've used capital letters instead of small letters because i'm used to java programming these programming languages are not the same but yeah the simple thing once you understand one you will actually get another one you can see here we're having warnings because uh, this is a number plus it's a string now remember now a string uh, this number now is a string it's only an integer plus 100 we won't get we won't it won't be thousand here when we open the charts it won't be thousand because now we are adding a number with the string meaning it must be 100 uh, plus 9 the 100 will come here and then we'll have something like this because now we are using a string not integer you can plus a, a string with a integer okay so let's open that's why we're getting only they are saying they are forgetting so you can see now it's no longer just because i've changed int 
to string it's no longer thousand it's 900 and yeah can call jacob zuma to count this for us yeah but yeah that's how it is guys the only way to to learn this thing is you must practice this open the uh, open this thing here i'll show you okay let's say you open your chart if you want to open it uh, you must do this i'll show you I did show you on those videos but i want to come back again so on your mt4 on your charts you can just come to tools and then you press uh, not mt5 market it must be meter codes language editor or you can see they're saying you can just press f4 on, on windows whatever f4 it will take you to the editor of uh, of this thing okay or i've seen it somewhere where it looks easier okay i forgot but yeah here it is simple way just come here uh, tools meter codes language you are good to go okay and then when you are on your meter language editor you can see here when you want to go back to the charts you press this one it will take you to the charts okay so here you are you can just practice this thing guys and then enjoy it so that you can learn because if you don't practice you won't learn okay especially if you are learning on your own watching videos on youtube it won't be that easy but you will actually get it okay just keep on practicing it's nice you just practice put numbers here make this long but don't don't do return 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 like this no don't do this maybe it will return twice i'm not sure about that but avoid doing this just create a lot of these things let me check programming is amazing guys you actually learn new things every day especially if you are using certain languages like myself okay the returns one uh, you must just play with this thing even myself i'm still playing with these things though I understand a lot but I'm still playing keep on learning new things every day. Okay, the second return statement was okay. Actually our program avoided this second one. Only execute this one. So yeah, don't put return 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 return. Okay. Just make a lot of this. You can just copy. Change this number to thousand whatever. Then uh, compile. Of course, the numbers must not be the same. This one's this one you're going to say add by thousand. Okay. Just like that. So when you come here, you can just change this one. Which will let me add them. Say. You can see immediately when I tap add them, it's suggesting to me which one do you want to use because we have two methods. And then you can see inside this in the, inside these brackets, it's even reminding you that remember whatever that you are going to put inside this bracket must be a string. Okay, if it's int, it will write int here. Okay, so um, I want thousand. And then I'll open these brackets. And then here I'll just type thousand okay let me type uh, 900 again yeah just like that then open our charts you can see now it's a mess let's see what we get now you you are getting some lot of numbers okay so let's now change our methods to string to integers let's see what we get and And then in this one, remember, and this one must be even. Okay, this thing is crying. And another. Even. Okay, now we are going to learn. We are going to learn math here. Now, what this if? This program is going to take the number that we will put in our method, plus it with 100, 
Then we take that number, plus it with the number that we will put in another number for plus 1000. We are going to let it see. So yeah, let's open our chart. Let's see what we get. 2.9. Yeah, take your calculator and try that one. 2.9 now. So you can see, guys, you can create a lot of methods and then you can use those methods together. You can, you can create method and then use those method to do something okay here for example let's say this the first the, the first method is stop loss the second method is take profit the other is for slippage slippage i'm talking about um, spread so yeah you can have those methods and say whatever 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 but my point here is that we are going to use lots of methods here so when you understand what is a method when i place a method here, you'll understand easily like this thing alert you can see it's a method so they have programmed that whatever that we put here the program must print okay and then we have a lot of methods a lot of them are for indicators you can see these are the method the first one is for moving average the second one is for as you can see this one the first one moving average the second one a uh, macd emfi i don't know momentum everything and they are, they are showing you the first thing that you must put is constant symbol you are putting a symbol time frame uh, period in shift in arm period method etc that they, are, they will guide you when you are doing something let me go for moving average you can see now they are saying they want a symbol you can just say euro usd okay let's see if they will complain and then i close and then now i have to choose between these ones it's, it's a method that's how the method works period okay let me say day one and then another thing mm, what is this okay period you can just say 15 that one was time frame not period and then i want shift zero and then simple moving average let's see if you are done uh, applied price uh, let's see they are saying enterprise price. When they say int mean, I must put the number here. Uh, or handle. I say zero. And see what happens. I don't think we have another thing after this. Let me see. Okay. We have nothing after this. So this is a method. The method dictates to you what you must put in. You can't just put anything. Okay. In a method, you can just put anything. Uh, because this will, will have to correspond with the codes that they have programmed uh, behind the scene just like our methods that we have created here behind the scene but then we were using them here okay so let me compile this is a moving average um, indicator that's how you include i'll, I'll actually cover this uh, on separately but i just want you to understand what is a method and then when I come here so that you don't get confused, as you can see, they're saying Euro USD uh, undeclared identifier. So this simple means there's something that I must place for for when when I'm I'm saying symbol. I'm sure we can find it here. Yeah, another thing, guys, you must learn to use the help. Don't be shy to use this thing. You can just come to here, help. And then open here you can see reference okay this will help us to see a lot of things especially if we're dealing with the methods because methods only works when we actually apply the rules of mt of mt5 of this this mq whatever language okay that's how the 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 method works without this without understanding the rules you won't succeed so you are going to use a lot of help here okay let me go to the indicators here i want to show you something Where is indicators i can't find them trade functions i don't want those technical indicators yeah they are calling them technical i was doing moving average you can see these are the method click here double click on moving average you can see here so let me check what they want on the symbol they are saying string symbol so what can i use okay null okay so when you use null as a as a symbol 
that null means any equal that means any symbol that the robot will be on that is what null says which means any symbol so if i can place this indicator on euro usd and then say return the null it will say it's euro usd actually this thing instead of euro usd or a nasdaq whatever it will change according to what is on the chart if it's cat gpy it will say cat gpy that's what they're saying null okay so let's combine you can see now no more problems the reason why there are no more problems because i've used their rules i've referenced to check their rules because it's their method the person who, who create the method controls the rules of the method okay and then now they, they are showing you examples here how everything was done you can see here it's just a mess you don't even have to know this because now all this is summarized in one thing all these codes are summarized in one thing and that thing is what we have here the method okay so the methods are important you must learn to use them and you must always use them don't try to create your own method use them to be able to do things right in easier way okay so guys subscribe on this channel i will be uploaded i've decided now uh, every wednesday i will uh, actually every week on wednesday i will make videos about programming and stuff now i'm still dealing with the the issue of beginners to make sure that everyone's on the same page and then after this i will be we will be building our robot piece by piece every week we'll, this week we may build stop loss next week the way the way the way okay i want to go as slow as possible so that everyone we can all be on the same page the reason why guys i want to teach you about the robots is because there's a lot there's a lot to learn on the robots there's a lot and then actually they they show you a lot about the market something which you you won't see with your eyes because this is a program it's running exactly on the system it's running with the system you can just imagine it reads market on every tick unlike you when the market ticks the robot sends what's happening what's happening so the calculation can be done faster 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 quick and with consistency unlike you the robot doesn't have feelings okay so the more you use these things the more you will learn a lot that it's for your own benefit even if you won't use it to automatically open trades for you can gather information from the market remember information is everything when you have enough information you have the ability to take proper decisions and the sound decisions unlike someone who just wake up and make decisions without using the information from the market so with the robot you can calculate things like speed of the market the velocity how the market is moving you can actually try to detect uh, how quick the market is moving on certain periods every day versus on the other days okay you can just open here and then program a robot that will give you enough data to use okay. remember we are forecasting here just like the way they they forecast weather they are not using one thing they are using a lot of data a lot of information to to make a conclusion so so i don't think your eyes are enough for this and then using the robots you can learn a lot okay because now i'll show you example you you see this indicate you see this candlestick here you don't actually know how this candlestick moved maybe this candlestick was a selling candlestick for the whole hour and then only changed within two minutes does that mean this candlestick is actually a bullish candlestick you see those kind of things you won't see them with your eyes but the robot is there to tell you to calculate for you to say okay this this candlestick dominates all these candlesticks this candlestick alone the way the way it moved fast uh, it moved powerful it moved quick uh, it never went to a selling position what, what 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 so you can actually get a lot of information even if this thing won't trade for you but you will get a lot of information which you will later use for your own advantage we are focusing here guys okay sharp guys um, 
i'm uploading this video now and i hope everything goes well give me a subscribe subscribe guys so that i can keep on yeah i see people are subscribing now okay they get two three which is fine i'm happy with that though i wish you can subscribe more but i'm happy with that progress uh subscribe and then like share with others guys so that uh, we can actually reduce this scamming thing of people selling robots so actually my mission is that everyone must be able to create his own robot that is my mission because when you create your own robot even if you can't create it but at least have the idea of editing it maybe you may get it somewhere and then edit for your liking okay because i think everyone ha have has got his own strategy and we must keep it that way okay ciao guys give me a like subscribe and share with others just like that